Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. You'll often hear me talk about proximity and distance sensors. They're incredibly useful. I've used them for projects like sound triggers, motion-activated nightlights down long hallways, autonomous vehicles. We even sent one to Mars on the underside of NASA's Ingenuity helicopter. They come in a wide variety of technologies, ranges, and resolutions, making them perfect for almost any project. Well, this week we're excited to release a brand new Vexel sensor. Introducing the new SparkFun Quick Time of Flight Imager. This quick TOF imager is built around the VL53L5CX from ST Electronics. This time of flight multi zone chip integrates single photon avalanche diode array, physical infrared filters, and diffractive optical elements to achieve incredible performance over a range of ambient light conditions. The emitter is a 940 nanometer invisible light vertical cavity surface emitting laser and integrated analog driver. Its design is a 63-degree diagonal square field of view using diffractive elements on both transmitter and receiver. Its multi-zone ranging allows for either a 4x4 or 8x8 grid for 16 to 64 separate zones. It's got a range of up to 400 centimeters with 60 hertz frame rate capability. The board operates on 3.3 volts, has a pair of quick connectors, but also the necessary pins broken out in case you want to do things that way. And it has jumpers to isolate the power supplies, remove pull-up resistors from the interrupt pin and the I2C bus, and disable the power LED for low power consumption. That's right, up to 64 separate measurement zones from this tiny module. Now, I had planned to throw together a quick demo, maybe a self-parking car or something like that. But the more I learned about this, the more ridiculous something that simple seemed. I know, a self-parking car is simple. Well, when it comes to this module, it absolutely is, because this is capable of so much more than almost any other proximity sensor out there. Things like gesture recognition, uh, load distribution reading to make sure that the back of your truck isn't off kilter or your trash bin isn't going to fall over. Uh, 3D room mapping. I mean, the list just goes on. Now, I could just show you the data numerically coming out of this, but yeah, unless you're actually data, this isn't going to make a whole lot of sense to you. It's just a number, bunch of numbers flying by. However, Nick Poole was kind enough to create a visualizer using processing that should give us a little better idea of what this is seeing. There it is. Yeah, there we go. You see my hand passing across it, zone through zone. The lights in here are super bright, so there's some stuff bouncing and it may be affecting it some, but still, you can see what's happening here. Very cool indeed. So whatever your multi-zone ranging needs might be, you can now reduce the number of sensors needed to one. With the new SparkFun Quick Time of Flight Imager with the VL53L5CX module. Pick up yours only at sparkfun.com and remember, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. I've used them for sound triggers, for other things as well. There it is. But, wait, there it isn't. Time of flight imager with the VL, dang, so close. With the VL53, L, VL, the time of flight imager with the VL53L, uh, VL53L5CX. We even put one on the underside of NASA's Ingenuity helicopter on Mars. That was cool. We did that. <laughs> <laughs>